Have you ever wondered what the future of fuel looks like? In the quest for cleaner energy, hydrogen emerges as a promising protagonist. It's clean, it's powerful, and it's abundant. But there's a catch. How do we store and transport this volatile element safely and efficiently? Enter ammonia, a compound with a notorious smell but a spectacular potential. It's being hailed as a vehicle of change, a carrier that could unlock the full potential of hydrogen. Think of it as a vessel, bundling up the hydrogen for a safe journey from production sites to consumption points. But why ammonia? What makes it such a good hydrogen chaperone? It all boils down to its structure, its high hydrogen content, and an already established global infrastructure. But as with any groundbreaking solution, it's not without its share of challenges. So, how exactly does ammonia help in the transfer of hydrogen? Let's dive in. At first glance, ammonia might seem an unlikely candidate for hydrogen transportation. But let's dig a little deeper to understand why it's actually a promising prospect. Ammonia, or NH3 as it's known to chemists, has a high hydrogen content and is already a globally traded commodity with an established infrastructure for production, transport, and use. This makes it an ideal vector for hydrogen. The process of hydrogen transfer using ammonia involves two main steps. The synthesis of ammonia with hydrogen and the extraction of hydrogen at the destination. Let's start with the synthesis of ammonia. This is typically done using the Haber-Bosch process, a well-established method for large-scale ammonia production. In this process, nitrogen and hydrogen react in the presence of a catalyst under high pressure and temperature to form ammonia. It's a bit like baking a cake, where you mix the ingredients together and then apply heat to get the final product. Now, once the ammonia has been synthesized and transported to its destination, the next step is to extract the hydrogen. This is done by reversing the reaction that created the ammonia in the first place. A catalyst, often ruthenium-based, is used to break the ammonia molecule into its constituent parts. It's a bit like taking that baked cake and breaking it down back into its original ingredients. The extracted hydrogen can then be used for a variety of applications, from generating electricity through fuel cells to powering industrial processes. So, in essence, the process involves creating ammonia with hydrogen, transporting the ammonia, and then extracting the hydrogen at the destination. It's like a reversible conveyor belt for hydrogen, taking it from where it's produced to where it's needed. And the best part? This entire process is reversible, providing a pathway to store and release hydrogen, making ammonia a versatile carrier. Now that we understand the process, what makes ammonia a suitable carrier for hydrogen? Scene script. Ammonia offers several advantages that make it a promising vector for hydrogen. Firstly, let's talk about the high hydrogen content. Ammonia boasts a hydrogen content of approximately 17.6% by weight. This makes it a dense carrier of hydrogen, allowing for the transportation of larger quantities of hydrogen within a given volume. Think of ammonia as a roomy suitcase, capable of packing in more hydrogen for the journey. Secondly, ammonia benefits from an established infrastructure. It's not a new kid on the block. As a globally traded commodity with a well-established supply chain, the systems for its production, storage, and transportation are already in place. This advantage reduces the need for extensive new investments to transport hydrogen. Thirdly, let's consider energy density. Ammonia's energy density, measured both volumetrically and gravimetrically, is high. This makes it a viable option for long-distance transportation of hydrogen. Imagine it like a marathon runner, capable of going the distance without losing steam. Next, we have stable storage. Unlike the diva-like demands of pure hydrogen storage, ammonia is content with moderate pressure and ambient temperatures. This stability makes it easier to store and handle. Think of it as the low-maintenance friend in the world of hydrogen carriers. Lastly, let's not forget global accessibility. As a commodity, ammonia is globally accessible, which paves the way for an international hydrogen market. This aligns with the vision of a global hydrogen economy, where hydrogen produced in one region can be efficiently transported to another. Picture it like the International Courier Service for Hydrogen. So, from its high hydrogen content to its established infrastructure, energy density, stable storage and global accessibility, ammonia certainly brings a lot to the table as a vector for hydrogen. Despite these advantages, ammonia is not without its challenges. The pursuit of a hydrogen economy is not a sprint, but a marathon. And like any marathon, it comes with its fair share of hurdles, but that's a story for another scene. Like any solution, using ammonia for hydrogen transport comes with its own set of challenges. One of the most significant challenges is ammonia's toxicity. While it's a common industrial chemical, it's also a potent irritant that can cause severe burns and eye damage. 
In high concentrations, it can even be lethal. Therefore, handling ammonia requires stringent safety measures to protect both people and the environment. Beyond handling, storing ammonia presents another challenge. It's a volatile compound that can cause corrosion, so it requires specially designed storage facilities. While these facilities already exist thanks to the established ammonia industry, expanding them to accommodate the scale of a hydrogen economy may require significant investment. Next, let's consider the energy required for the synthesis of ammonia. The Haber-Bosch process consumes a considerable amount of energy mainly due to the high pressure and temperature required. This energy consumption in turn could increase the carbon footprint of the process unless it's powered by renewable energy sources. Another challenge is the extraction of hydrogen from ammonia. While it's technically feasible it currently lacks efficiency. The process requires a catalyst often a precious metal like ruthenium which adds to the overall cost. Plus, the extraction process is not yet efficient enough for large-scale operations, posing a hurdle for the widespread adoption of ammonia as a hydrogen carrier. Lastly, there's the issue of ammonia slip. During the hydrogen extraction process, it's possible for some ammonia to slip through, leading to emissions of unburned ammonia. This slip is harmful to the environment and can damage the systems that use the extracted hydrogen, such as fuel cells. Despite these challenges, it's important to note that many are not unique to ammonia. Other hydrogen carriers face similar issues and overcoming them is part of the ongoing research and development efforts. While challenges exist, the potential of ammonia as a carrier for hydrogen is significant and warrants further exploration. In our journey towards a sustainable future, hydrogen emerges as a promising fuel. We've explored how ammonia, with its proven infrastructure and high hydrogen content, offers a viable solution for the tricky conundrum of hydrogen storage and transportation. We've also weighed the benefits against the challenges, including ammonia's toxicity, 